data is everywhere. No, really, you use it in your everyday life. You collect, analyze, and act upon data when you do anything, from handling your household budget, counting calories in your diet, or figuring out the ideal time to leave for work. So, if data is everywhere, and you interact with it daily, why is this culture a recurrent theme in healthcare settings? And how can we turn that culture into this one? The simple fact is, you can't ignore data when trying to improve the quality of healthcare. Data is an essential part of our work. It shows us what needs to improve and whether or not specific actions are helping make these improvements. Don't know where to start? Why not start with the logic model? The logic model helps you determine what data you need, how you're going to collect it, and what the data is going to tell you. It's like a roadmap, an overview snapshot of what you're doing, and a great first step toward creating a new positive relationship with data. Let's work through an example. First, ask yourself, what are your short and long-term goals? Then, fill in the rest of the diagram with the information you already know. Inputs, outputs, assumptions, and external factors. Inputs are what you invest, like staffing, funding, equipment, and technology. Outputs are the activities you're doing and whom you're doing them for. Assumptions are what you already know, and external factors are things that are out of your control, like organizational changes and environmental factors. Don't feel like you have enough information to start? The logic model helps you identify the data you need and tells you what's missing so you can figure out how to fill in the gaps. Feel like you have too much data and don't know what to do with it all? The logic model helps you organize and prioritize the data to avoid overcollection. Feel like you can't do it alone? No problem. To make the greatest impact, an organization should collaboratively develop and use logic models at all levels and staff positions for a shared sense of ownership and accountability. And the best part about logic models, they're flexible and evolving. You can create your logic model based on your current understanding and then revise it as you go along. Say your organization wants to improve staff retention. This is what your logic model might look like. Again, inputs are what we invest. Outputs are what we are doing. And outcomes are our goals. Assumptions are existing knowledge. and external factors are things that might matter, but we can't control. In a struggling healthcare culture, data is everywhere, but nobody knows what to do with it. The team that takes the time to create a culture shift around embracing data, using the logic model as a guide, builds a stronger value proposition, which in the end is better for business and patients and residents. What kind of data culture do you want to create?